as always, I invite you to use whatever words work for you. I will say things for you to repeat. You repeat after me where it feels aligned for you. Anytime it doesn't change the language, don't say that thing at all. Say what comes to you. Say the last thing that felt aligned for you and, uh, and just see where it goes. So here we, here we go. The setup is always with the karate chop point and this is the only time we use this point. So you're under the baseline at the base of the pinky, the line at the base of the pinky. Okay, here we go. Tapping the side of the hand there. Even though I am genuinely bothered by how my career trajectory has gone. And I am not sure that I've been on track. I still deeply love and completely accept myself. Even though I'm not sure that I made the best decisions for all concerned. I'm not sure that my career track is exemplary or possibly even okay. I don't approve of myself in this. And right now I reach for where I love myself. Where I accept myself completely. Even though my career trajectory feels problematic to me, I'm not sure I've been on task on target, on track. Here I am, willing to learn and grow. And I deeply love and completely accept myself. These bad feelings about my choices and the timeline I've been on and the content of my career trajectory. I don't like how it feels. Inner eyebrow. I don't approve of it and I don't approve of myself not approving of it. Outer eye. The whole thing feels bad to me. Not the whole thing. Some things about it under the eye, upper cheekbone. And I use those things to fear that I might get it wrong in what I do next. Upper lip, between nose and, between nose and upper lip. I use it to create urgency about getting it right. Chin point, which is the groove between chin and lower lip. I think I might be more open to guidance if I didn't feel urgency. I think I could work, discover, quest in a more relaxed way. I 
want to quest. I want to find my aligned next path. I want the gifts I've been given to be used for the greater good. in the most beautiful way I'm capable of or have access to to date. Uh, side of the ribs, uh, hands width from the base of the armpit. I would like to co-create with the universe following guidance, following impulses, checking out what I'm curious about, what I feel drawn to, what feels aligned and good to me, crown. And I'd like to do it with ease. inner eyebrow, and I want to give it my energy. I want to give it my time. I want to give it my resources. I'm open. Outer eye. When I'm not feeling bad about things or judging myself, I'm excited. under the eye, upper cheekbone. And I acknowledge that I've done some things in recent history to lay the way for moving forward well in my career. Under the nose. Name one of those things right now. Chin point. Name another way that that's true. Oh, we have recently shown up to lay the way for moving forward well. under the round of the clavicle. I'm open to thinking of more. I invite more. I open to giving myself more credit for what I am doing. Side of the ribs. Maybe that could open the way for me to feel great about wherever I head next and about exploring where I'd like to head next. Crown. I think that process could feel good. I've had tastes of it feeling good. Inner eyebrow. I think I could give it committed attention and resources without feeling urgent. Outer eye. I wonder what I could trade urgency for. Maybe curiosity. Maybe commitment. maybe clear choices to maximize giving this what I think it deserves. Under the eye, upper cheekbone. 
I wonder what it's like to do things without any self-judgment. Under the nose. I know I've made some headway in life with my self-judgments. I honor that. Chin point. And I like it better when I'm not judging myself. I feel empowered when I appreciate myself. When I trust the journey. Under the clavicle, it's hard to imagine feeling great or 100% good about the journey. Side of the ribs, I'd like to imagine it. I wonder if there's any human being who feels like they've always been on purpose. I wonder if it's okay for me to be a human being who's been less on purpose than I like, or than I imagine I would like. Inner eyebrow. I know there are always varying degrees of anything. So various human beings have been more or less on track. Outer eye, I'd like to not compare myself to them. When I do that, I feel less than. Under the eye, cheekbone, and then I no longer feel empowered. And I feel less connected to guidance. And right now, I acknowledge again, I declare my strong connection to my guidance system. Under the nose. I'd like to at least imagine feeling that my whole journey is worthwhile. And that finding it wrong it doesn't help me. Chin point. And I'd like to see myself as source sees me. With more love than I think I can imagine right now. But I've tasted it sometimes under the clavicle. I've definitely had glimpses. What if I held myself more often with that gaze? Uh, under the side of the ribs, under the arm. What if I mind every portion of my history for all the good in it, for all the gains, for all the clarity that even if I did something wrong, I got clarity. Crown, maybe what feels off is always simply confirmation that my guidance system is working. I know when something feels off to me. Inner eye. Right now I'm not going to figure out exactly how the journey is going to go. And I don't need to. Outer eye. And I'd like to just stop evaluating the past part of the journey. It's over. Under the eye, 
it's not my business anymore. It's the universe's business. So my business is to gain from it. Under the nose, to build on it. To co-create from where I am now. Chin point, and I invite ease in the co-creation in how I show up. I invite a spark, many sparks. I invite joy. Under the clavicle, I want to follow my bliss. And I want to do that for the good of all concern. Letting what wants to come through me come through in the easiest way. Side of the ribs. I'd like to be an open channel. I'd like to do less tense work and thinking work and more relaxing and opening. I know in my body when I'm open. Crown. I like being on task, on track, aligned. It's my intention. It's what I'm stepping into. It's what I'm aiming for. It's what I'm committed to. And I actually trust that all of life wants to get me there. And I'm willing to meet any obstacles within myself. Any tendencies I have for self-limitation. None of it is a puzzle the universe can't solve. The universe is here to co-create with me. I am one with that force. I am committed to co-creation. I am here just as I am to date. I'd like to bring in the fullness of all that I am to date. And step into my future with grace and beauty, following my alignment with what matters to me. Okay, we stop tapping. I like to cup one hand over the other palms facing up, do whatever feels good to you so you can just sit a moment, receive the practice, feel the reverberations of the tapping, feel the breath, the breath, the quality of the breath is usually different after tapping. Feel overall how you feel about this issue. If you like, you can give yourself a one to 10 rating of how distressed you are about it or how bad you feel about it at the beginning of the tapping session and then do that again at this point. And just check in, is there anything that was said that brought up a new fear or reminded me of a fear or an obstacle in the way or something that's, that keeps me from feeling totally good about this? And in that case, you can tap again now, later, or you can take that to inquiry, or you can write it down, invite grace and walk away from it. Take it wherever you like. Reach for body processes, heart processes, head processes, and uh, EFT hits all three. Gain from this amazing practice.